Wow. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about Nicola Moto. I know we've been talking about Nicola Moto a lot, but for good reason. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Nicola Moto, let's take a little uh, kind of walk down memory lane here. This company, um, you know, one of the, the EV companies, supposedly uh, one company that is looking at competing with Tesla. They were already calling Nikola Moto the next Tesla. Um, and so this company went public through a merger with a Vector IQ and that kind of just skyrocketed the stock from uh, 20 something dollars to a high of 98 dollars and hit the peak of 98 dollars and then just reverse and started going down uh the drain and nothing could stop the bleeding until they actually announced a partnership with uh general motors and then the stock starts squeezing up again and then this bombshell uh from hindenburg's research came in and the stock like wiped out all the gains from that partnership with uh general motors and boy uh, the stock has just been going south from there uh the ceo or co-founder of the company uh kind of resigned this past week adding to the bleeding um and so hindenburg research has accused um, Nikola Moto, the fact that their technology is not up to par. So what they are selling or talking about or what they've put in their uh, investor presentation about where their technology is at is not true. Um, so their hydrogen fuels and their inverters are not where they're supposed to be. Why am I bringing all this up? I'm bringing this up because um, when you keep hearing stuff like this about a company and uh, somebody accusing you and you don't do anything or you don't answer the questions properly, um, it, that, it, that's a red flag to me because if you think that what you're doing is great and your technology is ready to go, why not just put it out there? Why not do a demo and show people like, hey, they're talking about all this stuff. Here, here we are. So I'm going to give you a good example. So they have a promotional video where they actually have uh, one of their trucks, uh, Nikola Motors trucks, um, you know, driving um, maybe just along a highway. But the actually the actual video is the truck rolling down a hill and not being propelled by the engine of that truck so but now they went ahead and used video editing to make it look like it was driving uh, on the straight road like a flat road which is deceiving so when you when people saw that they thought oh that truck is being propelled by nikola motors technology whereas it was just rolling down uh, a hill and not necessarily using any sort of a uh, um and Nikola Motors technology and when they were accused of this they said they didn't uh, specifically say that they, it was being propelled by the engine they just said it was your truck in motion it's like huh so you omitted that piece because we didn't ask or what um so again this is the thing that i i see the analogy that i can pretty much tie this to is like you get in a relationship with somebody and you guys get married and then you find out that they have five kids and then you ask them like hey but you didn't tell me about your five kids like well you didn't ask me so i, I didn't see the need to tell you say no 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 that is your place to tell me that you have five kids before we get in a relationship I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just want to kind of give that analogy. So basically, Nikola Moto is bleeding so bad, and I don't know when the bleeding is going to stop. Uh, GM, again, has stepped up and say our relationship is, is good. Uh, we did our due diligence to actually uh, vet Nikola Moto before we went into this partnership with. So now let me give you guys uh, another situation that we've seen before uh, with another company. And everything that Nikola Moto is doing right now or going through is really really uh kind of mirroring what that company went through do you guys remember the company Terranos? if not i'll give you a little brief history Terranos was a company founded by um elizabeth holmes who, who she was a, a drop out of stanford and so she started this company um kind of a pharmaceutical company to help with um blood test so remember when you go to the hospital to do a test they'll draw like a whole pint of blood uh, to go run the test and so she said oh i'm coming up with this technology where uh, she had these little things called the nanotubes and you take the nanotubes and that's all you need so finger prick of blood you can run over 300 uh different tests just from that finger prick 
And so you had people in, in Hollywood, people in uh, Silicon Valley, people in uh, Wall Street invested in this company. I'm talking big shot names invested in this company. And they even went as far as having a partnership with Walgreens. Does that ring a bell? Nikola Modo just had a partnership with GM. So let me continue the story. They had a partnership with Walgreens and actually said, oh, they have some of their technology at Walgreens. But here's how their technology operated. They didn't have any uh, uh, technology yet. It was just a prototype that didn't really work. So they would go to Walgreens, have somebody like a, a clinician sit there, take those uh, samples and then pretend as if they were running the test on site, but they would ship them back to their headquarters where somebody would actually use existing uh, blood testing technology to run the test and then send them back and then they'll give them to their, to their uh, patients and pretend as if they actually ran it there. So they finally got exposed and the company went from being valued at almost about $9 billion to zero. Elizabeth Holmes got uh, sued and now, even up to now, she's still going through the process. She's not completely out of the woods yet. So uh, I'm actually saying this is because we, we've seen now Nikola Motors, you got, you got from uh, really being this hype of new company uh, that's going to take, uh, you know, electric trucks to Main Street and now to their CEO uh, or one of their co-founders resigning from the company. And, and another thing that is happening again, not challenging the technology that what you guys are claiming that your technology can do is not exactly what it is. All that really mirrors Theranos. I'm not telling you this to frighten you about Nicola. I'm just telling you what I have seen, what I'm looking at. Again, when you hear all this noise about a particular company, either good or bad, it's your duty, it's your responsibility to do your own research so that you can decide when to uh, either buy or sell or get out of the company. So I'm not telling you that, oh, uh, get out of the company or get in. I'm just simply giving you guys my opinion as to what I see. So do your own due diligence. So I, I, as of right now, where I stand with Nicola Moto, there's so many red flags that really matches what I, I saw with, with Theranos. And I'm gonna sit and watch this one unfold because I don't think it's gonna be pretty. But again, that is my opinion. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think, oh, this is just uh, a way to knock them down? Or you think it's just, you know, um, short sellers trying to kill the stock and make profit as the stock goes down? Let me know in the comment section. So in conclusion, I think Nikola Moto is sitting at a crossroad of either going bankrupt or making it big. Um, again, the partnership with GM is, is one that has, um, Nick, GM doesn't really have anything to lose here because it's just a partnership and they have a 10% stake at Nikola Moto. So if Nikola Moto go bankrupt, GM didn't really invest any money in, in the company. So as a matter of fact, G, uh, Nikola Moto is paying GM to be part of the company to help them manufacture their trucks. So, Again, if the things go south, GM doesn't really have anything to lose. So that's my take on, on this situation. Again, I'm gonna monitor it and see uh, what happens uh, in, in the future. So if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, again, uh, Weibo is doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get uh, a free stock and you get access to level two information uh, that you can actually use for doing trading. So I'm gonna put the links in the description below. Definitely go check them out. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage.